Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, we live in some weird ass times, I can't lie. Men turning into women is cool. Women turning into men is cool. But what's your opinion on transgender men or men who have become women using the female bathrooms? Me, I don't have an opinion on it because it's not my bathroom, but I believe if it makes you uncomfortable, if you're affecting someone's life, you shouldn't interfere. Planet Fitness trying to be woke and have failed miserably. Basically, a woman, this lovely lady right here, looks like everyone's grandma in a nice way, obviously, has reported that in Planet Fitness, she was having a, you know, a shit, I don't know, whatever she's doing in the toilet, excuse me, sorry. And this gentleman, who is a gentleman, you know, he might have transitioned, but he was a gentleman for 40 plus years, you know, just because you change doesn't mean it wipes out your past, was having a shave and she didn't feel comfortable. She did the thing that most people do these days and make a video. Let's play the video. Good day, I just wanted to say, I just came out of Planet Fitness and um, there is a man shaving in a women's bathroom. I realize he wants to be a woman. He gets to be a woman. I love him in Christ. He's a spiritual being having a human experience. He doesn't like his gender, so he wants to be a woman but I'm not comfortable with him shaving in my bathroom. I think that's the main important thing. I, I share her beliefs minus the Christ because I don't believe in God because he did not exist. But, but, I think if you are a man who is transitioned into a female, you've got to understand women are very, you know, they have a lot of bad experiences, don't they? They always hear about bad things going on in the news to women, usually men. And you always read stories about men pretending to be females and then, you know, or having a chance, sex change just so they can spy in the girls' toilets. You know, there is people who do that and it's scary. Scary. It must be scary as women because now you you know you you've come out and you say I don't want men in my bathroom. And suddenly oh, you're a fucking fascist. You're a Nazi. You're a scumbag. Get out of here. You know go fucking shit in the car park. You don't deserve a bathroom. It's like no, that's not true at all. If she doesn't feel comfortable with a man having a shave, which is kind of normal, I feel like if you were there getting changed, and let's say you turn to your right and there's a man with his dick hanging out and having a shave, you'd be like, well how how female are you right now? Because look, I'm I, I'm the same. I want you to be happy. If you want to be a female and it makes you happy, I'm happy for you. But if you look at the actual size. 50% of transgenders still commit suicide, which is a very scary figure, which makes you think perhaps that's not the solution. So what happened next to dear old lady? Well, she got her license revoked. I did want to see you this though. Show you this. Look at this sister. God damn. That's terrifying. Nah, I'm sorry, but you do you boo boo. But god damn, god damn. I never want to see that in my life. So I forgot to add as well, the man shaving in the Alaska Planet Fitness with a 12 year old girl. So there was a child, an infant little girl was there who unfortunately had to see this man's, you know, getting changed and shaving a beard, which probably sends this kid into a whole host of emotions saying, huh, huh, huh. And yes, you've got to ask the question, all right, why is a 12 year old in a gym changing room? But I don't think that's the point of the thing here. I think the point of the thing is this next thing. She got her license revoked, struck and taken away because she expressed concern about a 50 year old man shaving in a woman's bathroom. At eight degrees below zero in Fairbanks, Alaska. Day two of Planet Fitness Saga. I came in Monday, there's a man in the women's locker room shaving a little girl sitting in the corner she could have been 12 years old i don't know how old she was in a towel kind of freaked out that there's a man shaving in her locker. see that's the main thing as well another she was uncomfortable i hate making people feel uncomfortable you know i understand you don't feel comfortable in your skin but surely you don't want other people to feel how you feel in your body so why would you do that to yourself i understand you you want to be a woman and that's fine all right but in my opinion if you're going in there you need to be in and out you know what i mean don't dawdle don't shave why are you shaving i would feel so well you know like if you're if you're a man in a woman's bathroom you know what you've been for your whole life i understand you've changed but it doesn't race history. If Hitler changed genders at the end of World War II, people wouldn't have gone, oh, forget it. It's, it's all right. It's not him who did it. It was his past self. Don't, no, leave, let him be. It's not him. It was a different person. It was Adolf, not Annie. You know what I mean? No one would say that. So why is it any different here? Just because you are transitioned to a female does not mean you should, you know, have the same privileges. Like, I don't believe I have little nieces who I love to death. If they do competitions these days, if a boy decides when they're six that they're a female, they can join in the races. They're going to win everything spoiler alert that's why in the olympics there's men and women they don't face each other because they're generally sorry to say it but men are usually you know stronger at things it's just science bro i didn't make the rules blame god don't blame me locker room well i was offended i took a picture of him and i asked him why are you there you're a man with a penis why are you in the women's locker room and he justified by saying i'm queer lgb and i said you shouldn't be in the women's locker room. Well, I left. And um, as I said this morning, I got canceled. Planet Fitness is defending 
the man in the women's locker room, the man with the penis. Just to clarify, the man with the penis. It's very important, the man with the penis. You know what I mean? The schlong. Sitting in the corner with a towel wrapped around her. So people, I just want you to know, this is weird, it's not good. Uh, it, it's, it's rather disturbing. So I would like for you women to stand up and have a voice and stop the shenanigans. You have authority. Use your authority. I took that picture because I was, I was, I felt like I was in a, I felt like I was in an unsafe space. Again, an important, they all feel unsafe. They don't feel, you know, a ladies change room is for ladies to feel comfortable to get changed. It's simple. It's not this magical room where crazy shit goes on. It's where women can go to feel safe and get changed without having to worry about men gazing, you know, weirdos staring. Now, you know, you've got to go in there and you, you know, if you say, oh, I don't feel comfortable because this man with the penis, which is hanging out, by the way, down to his ankles, very good job if you want to get rid of it. I'm not sure why. He's making me feel uncomfortable. It's like, well, you're the scumbag, actually. <laughs> get out the... Get the fuck out of here. You are banned from gym. Actually, we're going to ban you from life, society. You won't be able to shop. You won't be able to eat. You're going to live on the streets for the rest of your life with all everyone walking around you looking, ugh, that person hates transgenders. How dare they? How dare they? So I love this woman standing strong and coming out and not backing down. She was cancelled, inverted commas, I don't know. Anyone who's uttered or muttered a bad word about her, I think she's doing the right thing, coming out and pointing out that was a 12-year-old and her, two people who did not feel comfortable. She'd had her licence revoked, her licence, her membership, <laughs> blown up whatever happens and so i'm probably going to go report this to the police today but i just want to tell samantha and joe that work there and own it thank you so much for canceling my membership you saved me the trip have a great day see i love that stay strong you've done nothing wrong if you don't feel comfortable in the women's change rooms he should not be there or she whatever he is but if you have a penis okay breaking the news women don't want to see penises in a female changing room who would have thought Pfft. Einstein, I thank you very much. Give me that award, Nobel Peace Prize. I'll take it now because guess what? That's all they want. They want to feel safe. So thankfully, uh, people have taken real, real offence to this. And Planet Fitness sees 400 million wiped off its value in five days. That's incredible. So people have boycotted it. They've left and rightly fucking so, excuse my French, rightly so, these women have spoken out because they felt uncomfortable, unsafe in their own changing rooms, and you're telling me, Planet Fitness backed the guy who was having a shave with his knob out, you're mad, you're crazy bro, so just to confirm here, the Planet Fitness defends the trans woman having a shave, and defends her in Alaska, which is crazy, I can't believe it, people in great numbers in America have deserted the gym, it bears mentioning stock has plummeted, safety in locker rooms, they're not buying into this, and I love when people vote with their feet, vote with their money exactly exactly it's all about safety it's not about whether you care about you know transgender people lgbt we i love and hate everyone equally if you're a twat you're a twat all right it's not about anything to do with what you are i want other people to feel comfortable and safe in the skin they're in and the fact that you now feel comfortable being a female so much to have a shave and have your genitals hanging out and that you're making two other people two other people not feel comfortable this is one person feel comfortable this is two or everyone else who's in there i also just had this thought why are you having a shave in there it's almost like trying to defy the point and trying to let everyone know yeah i'm actually a man don't you think like it just seems weird if i was a transgender and i wanted to fit in i would just be like in and out you know what i mean get changed in a private area and then get the fuck out of there why is he almost dawdling and sort of like looking at people and going yeah i'm having a shave this that don't sit right with me i think it's different you can't say well what about if the roles were reversed and a man was in there and uh, sorry a, a man who transitioned in no a woman who transitioned it's very fucking confusing a woman who transitioned into a man was in the the males change room how would you feel it's like well, men probably wouldn't give a shit because men are different though we are a different breed or a different species completely half of us aren't even human beings i'm pretty sure you know we wouldn't care but the point is women do or most women do and the fact that you don't want them shaving in your locker room is not sexism it's not homophobia or whatever you know hate against the lgb2 it's the opposite it's about wanting to be safe and comfortable in the skin you're in or in the area you're in look this is a very very uh oh, you know harrowing ordeal i hope this man is okay you know i don't wish any anything bad on him but i think maybe just maybe i think we should have a, a big big look into who we let what the rules are on changing rooms if women don't feel safe in their changing rooms when transgender men are in there then they shouldn't be in there end of it's not a debate it's not a debacle it's not a question it's the stuff it's the rules it's about the women who were there first i'm happy that you're happy transitioning from 
whichever side you go into. But the point is, you're making other people feel uncomfortable now, and that's not okay. Not okay. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I want to hear your thoughts, and let's you know, you know, let's have a, an actual debate. If you actually think this man's not in the wrong, please let me know why. I'll be, uh, I'm open to being wrong, uh, proven wrong. But usually, I'm quite right. I'm joking. My mum says says I'm always wrong. Anyway, leave a like, comment, and uh, fist bumps, guys. See you later. Thank you.